being kind of quiet. Well, that's because, uh, remember when it's the lowest form of conversation. So remembering when I did my last video, we had a uh, pretty playable experience with around 30 FPS average in the easier to run areas. Um, however, in the heavy to run areas, that's where the 1% lows and everything kind of dropped. Um, and in my heaviest area, I was able to get the FPS average down to a 25 FPS average. Uh, just to quickly recap what happened. I'd been keeping up on the latest Yuzu updates, and even people have been mentioning it in the latest ones there were VRAM fixes. And as I suspected in my previous videos, that I was getting memory leaks because as the further I played, the more RAM filled up, and then the slower the game became until I had to restart it. And other people were confirming this as well. So somebody had commented that 3605 has specific updates to the Steam Deck, so I got the latest 3606. Um, and then somebody else also commented on down here saying that they had found other settings as well uh, to adjust the GPU clock down from 1200 to 1000 and then setting the power tools governor to performance as well as setting the TDP to 13 watts. Um, I did play with this at the end but as you'll see it didn't really make too much of a difference uh, but we'll get into that. So getting into the testing results I had the latest Yuzu 3606 uh, and I was testing 3.4.6 versus uh, SteamOS 3.5 because I already had the 3.4 already installed so I figured I might as well do a few runs just to see where it's at. So predict predictably sorry and as we can see here uh, the 1% lows were kind of taking a nosedive and the averages were not so hot either. Um, but once we kicked over to 3.5, the averages kind of stabilized out around 30, and the 1% lows and the 0.1% lows were brought up as well. Just like to point out here on my third and final run that I fell off the rock face that I was climbing, or uh, taking a path along the right, and I fell into the water, so I had to swim around and then climb up a rock and whatever. So it was building all new shaders that whole time, and this ended up being our best actual run to the averages. So I just thought I'd point that out. Moving on to the next, um, we were testing the old settings versus the potential new settings, and this was in the heavier run area. This was running up to the door and then running back, uh, straight back to the statue out front of the Hyrule Castle there. And this was all in SteamOS 3.5 at this point. So for the first four runs there, we can see that the averages were about in line with our last results at 25, and we'll get into the compared to the last results in the next slide. Um, so from there, that was kind of our baseline with my previous settings um, on the new Yuzu. Uh, it, whether to say it felt any better, there was still the moments of stutter dropping down to like low teens and things like that. So um, I decided to try out the new settings that uh, Spike had recommended in the comments. And from there, we could see that with the 13 watt TDP and the 1000 watt megahertz, or sorry, 1000 megahertz GPU lock, um, the averages were relatively about the same, so if you're looking to save some power, that might be an option there. I decided to kick it back up to 1200, and we were able to get uh, lightly better averages. Uh, the 1% low on the one run there was slightly better. It was one of our better ones, actually. Um, and then from there, I decided to do two more runs at 15 watt TDP to see if that made much of a difference, and honestly, not really. So by all means, keep it locked at 13 watt TDP. It doesn't really seem to make too much of a performance difference. Maybe in the heavier areas it might, but that would be up to you to test on that, your preference and your uh, your tolerances for frame drops and anything like that. So by all means, play between 13 to 15 watts. And finally, we have the results from the past video, the best two runs from doing the whole mountain run and the door and back run compared to our best results now. Um, so as you can see, there really wasn't that big of a performance difference. Uh, if anything, the new settings got worse settings or worse results in some of the scenarios, but then about in line in, in the second scenario. Um, the one thing that I can say about this update is that even though I've put my deck to sleep and brought it back, uh, waked it back up and played the game and everything before it would slow down when you bring it back from awake or if you've been playing for an extended period of time. But it seems like the latest update has fixed that problem and it states in the update notes that there is VRAM fixes and stuff specifically for the deck. Uh, other people had reported in the comments as well that they were getting the same experience. So hopefully this will smooth out that and you'll be able to play for extended periods of time without having to restart the game constantly. 
um, whether over time the gameplay will smooth out or become better uh, r remains to be seen. I uh, don't really know. It never hurts to stay up to date on the latest Yuzu though, so keep up to date on it. Try out these settings. Um, you can try with the governor performance. You can try it without. Try the settings in the comments as well. And just play around with it for yourself generally just to see if you can get any more performance. To make these changes I'm talking about, just open up your quick, a quick access menu, sorry, and then go to Power Tools if you have Decky Loader installed. And then go to Governor and change it to Performance there. As well, you can change your Power Play limits, your, sorry, which means your TDP, your CPU clock speed limits, and your GPU clock speed limits as well. These are the main things that you'd want to play with, especially with emulation. And for my mods and Yuzu settings, uh, just use the ones that are checked off here. Don't worry about the ones that are not checked off. The main one that you want to focus on is the FPS++ and the 1.1 update. You can update to the 1.1.1 update as I believe most of these mods are updated to support it now, but I would recommend doing it one at a time to make sure that each mod is compatible individually before firing them all off at once. I did test performance as well with these uh, FSR downscaling, LOD patch and shadows patches stuff disabled. I didn't really notice too much of a difference, but it should offer a better experience nonetheless, so I recommend leaving those on. Under CPU, we go to change accuracy level to unsafe, and that's the only change you would make in there. Under graphics, we would leave that the same. Uh, window adapting filter, you can change that to bilinear. I prefer that over FSR, but it's it, it should be very much similar. Under advanced graphics, you want to leave the accuracy level to normal. The first one, two, three options ticked off. And then the next two ticked on. Use fast GPU time hack turned off. That's if you're using the FPS++ mod. And use Vulcan pipeline cache turned on. Those are the only setting changes that I've made. So in conclusion, the latest Yuzu updates, they do seem to fix the VRAM issues, which is a nice thing, so you shouldn't have to be restarting your game as often. Um, whether it does anything performance-wise, it didn't really in my testing, but it may in your environment. Um, what I would recommend regardless is each time that there is a new Yuzu update, if you're noticing any sort of performance hitches or problems that you weren't getting before, delete your shader caches and then start rebuilding them again from new. I wouldn't bother, honestly, getting somebody else's shaders as finding ones that are one-to-one -one compatible with your setup might be a pain in the butt at times. Um, beyond that, there's not really too much else to say about this one. It, the only thing that it really did make a difference for me was, again, the VRAM issues and being able to put it to sleep and waking it back up without having it slowed down like 5 to 10 FPS. So, that'll do it for this one. Um, Beyond that, let me know what your guys' experience is with it. If you're running 1.1.1, if you're running uh, SteamOS 2.4, or SteamOS 3.5, uh, let me know how your guys' experience with the game has been going. Other than that, thanks for watching, and have a good day.